Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 12, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. That's, this has been a really interesting day and an absolutely massive roller coaster the last two trading days. We basically hit the top here, all-time highs at roughly 4,245, and then we broke down quite significantly. We're down roughly 4%. From the basically all-time highs reaching the bottom of the bullish band and then pulling back quite aggressively so whether or not this is basically the bottom that is to be seen tomorrow cbi number uh, will most likely uh, clear things up where basically we are in with inflation and so on that have, that will have a major impact on where stocks will go um, in the near term actually if you look at the technical they are not looking uh, very favorable to the upside for the s p 500 but the bottom of the bullish band was very supportive so we could see some back and forward and, and if we manage to stabilize here then we'll probably have a target of 4400 break below here well we have the 50 moving average down here as support and then we have 4000 down here as also support and that's probably as far as this will basically go we have eventually had breakdowns where we dropped below the 50 moving average but we have rallied and this is still just an uptrend, just a pullback in an uptrend. So whether or not this is going to be a massive pullback or just a minor pullback, um, that is to still be seen. But still, there's no massive breakdown where we saw last year. So we're still a long way to go. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones was uh, uh, hit really hard after this uh, shooting star yesterday, and we hit the middle of the bullish band and then stabilized. So middle of the bullish band has been massive support for the Dow Jones for a really long time now. So after basically the beginning of March, we basically broke, uh, rallied from the 50 moving average, hit the top, fell towards the middle, rallied, fell towards the middle, rallied, and yet again uh, falling towards the middle doesn't mean that we won't fall even further so for example here we did fall all the way down to the 50 moving average and same here and um, um, yes it is to be seen tomorrow and if we manage to rally from here then probably 35,000 will be our target and after that 35,500 and 36,000 will be our next target it is this is an, a gradual uptrend and uh, 20 exponential and a 50 moving average have been those areas where buyers have come in and bought the upside technical negatives do not favor the upside at this current stage they are very bearish indeed so let's look at the nasdaq so nasdaq has been absolutely battered the last uh, few basically the last two weeks um and now it looks like we are hitting rock bottom we didn't hit rock bottom right here at 13,000 give or take 13,077 and then created this well very bullish candlestick indeed so a lot of buying pressure here and uh, probably uh, CBI numbers tomorrow will basically clear out where this market will go we'll probably have a rally up towards the 20 exponential if that basically uh, if we get rejected there then we may fall towards 14,000 and probably all the way to the 200 moving average 200 moving average drops then there's a massive drop to the downside this is basically the bottom of this market otherwise we may rally from here or stabilize at least and then head towards 14,000 and then beyond that technically because they are macd is still bearish and the cci is still is flat kind of the stochastic sorry is flat the cci is bearish and the rsi is flat at this current stage so let's look at the dax So the DAX also fell apart the last two trading days, but still found major support down here at the bottom of the bullish band. Uh, this is probably not the end of this fall. We'll probably see a retest of this or probably retest of the 50 moving average. If the 50 moving average basically breaks, then we'll probably see this fall quite aggressively to the downside, probably to these previous highs here or the previous highs over here. So that will be roughly 14,700, 14,500, uh, yeah, 14,200, give or take, and then 14,000, and then we have the 200 moving average here. So we have been in a massive rally for the DAX the last, uh, basically last few months, and uh, we 
haven't had a major pullback similar to this for a really long time. But that is still be seen. Uh, Technically, do favor the downside at this current stage, but uh, we found massive support right here. So let's look at the UK or the FTSE. So FTSE, very similar, but it is looking more uh, bullish than the DAX. So it got just way out of hand here and needed a pullback. It did fall all the way down to 6,914 uh, 6, before rallying and settling right at the 20 exponential. Technical indicators for the FTSE are still, uh, they're crossing signal lines and they are very bearish indeed. But if this were to fall, then probably buyers will come in in large numbers around the 50 moving average. So a drop towards 6,838 will probably be where buyers will come back in. We saw it right here and then rallied and also the 20 exponential when we fall down towards here, it also rallied. So this rally at the end of the session is kind of encouraging saying that their people are interesting in these levels and are buying these levels. So let's look at the China 50. So this kind of tends to be a um, catalyst of what basically happens in other markets. So at this current stage, we have a double bottom here. So this could be where we turn around into China 50. It has been absolutely battered the last few months, all the way from, from the mid-February when we hit the all-time highs. And to where we are now, it has basically been battered. But the 200 moving average has been holding. We have created a double bottom here. And if we manage to break above the 50 moving average, then we go to 18, 19, 20, and beyond that. Technical indicators are turning around. So it's going to be interesting to basically see. If we basically break these previous lows here, then we're dropping to 16, 15, and uh, way below that. But uh, when I said this usually is a, is a kind of indication where the markets in both Europe and 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 United States are going, it usually has, has rallies before or breaks down before the other markets. Maybe something that's just happening in recent uh, weeks, but that if you look at the data, that's kind of what uh, I've been noticing uh, recently. So yes, if we get our green candlestick here tomorrow, then probably we'll see Europe and United States, US session as well being fairly bullish. So. Hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And uh, yes, good luck and thank you very much.